So, good evening, good evening, good evening. I bet you didn't expect to see me today. Uh, free watch alongs and a live stream down. Apologies to Saeed always. I overslept after doing free watch alongs, four fan cams, and the player ratings yesterday, and four watch alongs and an upload the day before. I was dusted, nearly 13 hours sleep. Bosh, we're back. Uh, but smash these likes up, guys. Pop, 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 but smash the likes, guys. Uh, make sure you are subbing. Uh, big up to everybody who uh, checked out all the fan cams, player ratings, watch alongs. Lee Reacts is flying millimeters from 26k. Uh, not quite sure why so many people are watching me talk about other teams. I thought I only got views when we lost, when Arsenal lost. Uh, so big up to all the new subs yesterday and big up to everybody who watched yesterday. Uh, happy April Fool's Day. Uh, you are nothing, you're a fool, and good night. <laughs> Anyway, leave your comments down below, super chats down below, share far and wide, subscribe. Uh, I'm back with rants at half past two UK time um, on Tuesday. Uh, it's Tuesday now as I'm recording this. Um, I'm also back with Kenny and Jez for the podcast at 7 p.m. Um, obviously, I was doing the championship watch alongs tonight. Uh, no VAR, toe to toe football, having a go at each other, entertainment, just not packaged right like the Premier League. Anyway, that's another stream. Uh, but, 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 guys, we should be proud of getting a draw at the Etihad. We should be proud. Uh, misinformation spreads real quick, by the way. Um, Rory Talks BS uh, has been done on a community note. Big up Elon, uh, because a lie is still a lie, no matter how many times it's told. Uh, so big up Elon for adding community notes. Uh, Jurgen Klopp. Couldn't even manage to get four points in a season against Pep. Uh, factually incorrect information, guys. Community noted. Gosh. Uh, anyway, it's irrelevant how many points Jurgen Klopp's ever taken. Um, we've taken four points. Well done. Uh, we've taken four points off a of Klopp. Well done. However, we've took... Um, oh, yeah. One point off a of Fulham. Yeah. Okay, only three out of six against West Ham. Only three out of six against Newcastle. Come on, what are we doing here, guys? Uh, we obviously have Aston Villa coming up soon. Uh, we've taken zero out of three. Uh, so, listen, uh, yesterday, yesterday, fair play. I called it, and I see a lot of people. Um, and big up to everyone. You know, I'm not mocking anybody individually. Yeah, but I think a lot of people are expecting me to have a meltdown yesterday. Unlucky. Cheers. Unlucky, guys. Uh, because when you predict something and it actually happens, you can't be disappointed, can you? Because if you predict um, a stinky nil-nil draw and you predict a draw, but then you go on and lose the game playing that way, then obviously I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be peed off. If I predict slappage, Man City batter Arsenal, but it's a weak battering. And when I say weak battering, last season, yeah, put up a fight. Yeah, Roy Keane says it. Sometimes I just get I'm just got to smash into somebody. None of that last season. However, when it happens like that, and it's a limp pause. Um, weak spineless performance and you get pammed, then you have every right to be upset. Listen, people can do what they want. Yeah, I'm just talking how I feel. And if I predict Arsenal to get battered, but it's a battering where we've actually had a go and they're just miles clear, then cool. Last year was embarrassing. Embarrassing. Uh, this year, I've seen a lot of people saying, oh, I'm proud of the performance. All of a sudden, I'm getting people texting me out of nowhere that haven't spoke to me for months. Oh, what are you saying now? What do you mean, what am I saying now? Why is your first thought after a draw at the Etihad to text Lee Gunner? Why don't you celebrate the draw if that's what you want to do, mate? Why don't you just celebrate being second because you did that last season? All right, seriously. And I want to say this as well, and I'm going to post this tweet out in a minute. I'm going to put this on my Insta story. I swear down, anyone ever texts me, comes in my comment section and ask me to redirect to them ever again. I swear down, I'm not going to name names. They know who they are. Yeah, I swear down, I'll never redirect you ever. So stop asking me 
to redirect to you. Because after six and a half years on YouTube, over three channels, for obviously the Gunner Bang channel, this channel, and Lee Reacts, I've worked extremely hard to get my channel to or channels to where they are. I don't think you can just bounce pause off of me. Yeah. How about putting the work rate that I'm doing? Yeah. How about that? Friday I was on with Rance. Friday I did free watch alongs for the championship. Friday I also did a stream with LB on my on this channel. Saturday I did four watch alongs and still uploaded a video on here. Sunday I did free watch alongs, four fan cams and a player ratings. Hence why I missed Saeed's stream today because I did not hear my alarm. I am worn out, but guess what? We go again. Did a stream with LB on his channel today. Did free championship watch longs, and here we are again. Yeah. Don't think you can just put in bare minimum work rate. Yeah. And come chat to me about can you redirect your viewers that you've worked your nuts off for? Yeah. For years and years and years to come and boost your channel. Bruv, shut up. I'm sick to death of these people. Yeah. I've had enough of it. It ain't happening. I swear down. Anyone ask me again. Yeah. Jog on. Yeah, jog on. I'll redirect to who I want to redirect to. And if I don't want to redirect to anyone, I'll just not redirect to anyone. Yeah, so stop asking, isn't it? Anyway, I digress. Uh, let's go back to the game. Um, listen, I expected a stinky, horrible game. Um, I even was speaking to my missus yesterday <laughs> during the game. Um, she's back home, bless up to her, and um, has barely any signal at her granddad's. Um, so when she called, I was like, yo, lads, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Five minutes on the phone to her. Happy days. Didn't miss anything. Why? Because I knew I weren't going to miss anything. I knew it was going to be a park the bus job and walk in football for Man City, which it was. They were just walking. They played boring football, Man City, this season. And listen, fair play to them. They're the best team in Europe. They're the treble winners and this and that. But they play U shape, um, cul de sac, horseshoe football. Start. U shape. Pass, 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 pass. We were always going to park the bus yesterday. And I've seen people that are a little bit upset that because they expected Lee Gunner to be having a sarcastic, angry, fuming fan cam. Listen, I say it as it is, guys, yeah. And I rate everyone, yeah, who is a real one that watches me. Oh, not even half. I'd say maybe 20% of the people that tune in and watch my content are fucking idiots. Yeah. You get maybe 2% of them actually have the balls to comment. Yeah. And 0% of them actually show their face or use their name. However, the majority, the vast majority, understand and have watched for years that I say it as it is. And I do say it as it is. And I just say what I think. Yeah. Nobody's going to agree with somebody 100% on every single thing, every single comment. Every I get asked every day, what did you think of this? Did you see this? What do you think of that? I ain't got time to watch other people's content like that. I ain't got time to watch TV shows. I ain't got time to do this. Yeah, I don't have time. Why? Because I'm working. I'm working. Bolivia versus Andorra. Yeah, Sweden, Albania. I'm doing uh, streams for these. Like, come on, I've got a stream every single week this week on the other channel for a game. Minimum one a day. Yeah, minimum. Saudi watch long. Mara's FC. We will be there on Friday. Yeah, minimum one a day. Yeah, and you don't get anywhere in life without graft. Yeah, and at the end of the day, we're not always going to agree on everything. You don't agree with your mum and dad and everything. You don't agree with your brother or sister. You don't agree with your pals and everything. But on the internet, you have to agree, otherwise you're flip-flopping. Shut up. I say it as it is, and I say what I think, yeah? At the end of the day, I expected a stinky nil-nil. Well, I actually expected a stinky 1-1, actually. I rephrased that. My bad. I expected a stinky 1-1. I thought we'd score first. I thought they'd equalise. That never come to fruition. However, we limited them to one shot on target at the Emirates. We limited them to one shot on target at the Etihad. Do you want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City? You're getting slapped. And we've been slapped, and I've been at a lot of these games you know, over the last eight years. <laughs> I've been to a lot of these games where we've been slapped. So why would Mikel Arteta go to the Etihad and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City? Yes, it was boring. Yes, it was dead. Well done to Real Madrid for giving me entertainment after that. However, this will not be the game with them two points dropped where we lose the league title. 
if we lose the league title because we're still in it. And yes, clip this, league gunners being positive because why? I don't feel there's anything to be negative about. And there's a lot of people, and listen, bless up to all the real ones on here, yeah? I'm not having to dig at you guys. Yeah, but Lee, we're behind Liverpool. Yeah, we're behind Liverpool. We are behind Liverpool. However, they're not that great. Man City are great. Yes, Liverpool are very, very good. Yeah, do not get it twisted. Yeah, we're probably the third favourites to win this title, even being sat second and above City. But I think, and it's only my full process, I think Mikel Arteta sat there and thought, we've got the best defence in the league. We've got the best attack in the league. If we can sit back, plug the gaps, they ain't breaking us down, which is what happened. What did they create? I can't even remember their shot on target. Oh, it was Nathan Ake off the shoulder in about 13 minutes. Only shot down on target. What did they create? Fair enough, we didn't create a great deal. However, that's because our captain held on to the ball a billion times too long every time he got the ball. Oh, but he played well. Yeah, he did all right off the ball, plugging the gaps, the passing lanes and all of this hipster stuff. Yeah, cool. I'm like, fantastic. But the creative spark, what did he create? He put a nice ball into Saka and then Saka squared it and Jesus did a gazer against Germany. That's an opportunity. If that's Ivan Tony, that's in the back of the net. Cool. But he's not Ivan Tony. It never went in. On the flip side of that, Erling Haaland had one go through his legs. Other than that, I weren't worried about Man City. Really? They didn't really create anything. We had the chance where Trossard, my baller, what are you doing, bruv? What are you doing? You don't need to take a touch. The touch should have been the cross to Martinelli. What are you doing? Yeah, it could. And it was about the same time as Martinelli scored at the Emirates as well. It would have been poetic. But anyway, he didn't. But that's another opportunity missed. 29. Made so many good runs yesterday. And our captain kept holding the ball, holding the ball, holding the ball. Bruv, just release the ball. He was through two or three times. Two or three times. Trossard had a shot. That was the shot where he should have passed it to Martinelli. He probably should have squared it back into, oh, I think it was 29 waiting in the box as well. By the by, we were the better team in terms of nearlies. So why am I going to be fuming? Why am I going to be sarcastic? Why am I going to be upset? It weren't a must-win game. It was a must-not-lose game. And that's not me being defeatist or, oh, that goes against everything you say. No, 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 no. If we went there and was naive, then that backs up everything I've said about this manager for four years. Fair play to him. Yeah, fair play to him. Because he realised, yo, last year we got bam, banged hard, pulls. Yeah, every time he's played them, banged hard, pulls. This season, like, he has definitely learned. Yeah, and I'm not saying I'm fully confident of winning anything. I'm not saying that he's great because I'll stand by what I say. If he don't win anything this season, get rid of him. Go and get someone that can cross the line. Yeah, we're there now, up to a certain level. But if he don't cross the line this season, get rid of him. However, that will not be the game that stops us winning the title. Fulham, Newcastle. Oh, but it was VAR. Shut up. We had one shot on target against Newcastle away. Oh, but VAR robbed us. And what? Yeah, I have more than one shot on target, mate. Yeah, West Ham, 2-0 at home. Raya saves the penalty. Could have been free. Embarrassing. Yeah, Man United, we got away with it by a millimetre because Garnacho was one millimetre offside. So, fair enough, we won the game. But since that Dubai trip, we've been playing great and fair play because I do think he has learned. And our cap, uh, not our captain, our man of the match, sorry, um, Saliba, I would have given it to Declan Rice. Yeah, I thought he was unbelievable, unbelievable in that game. But Saliba come out and said, we shouldn't be happy with a draw. So why are people out there making videos, giving it all the Bertie, all over socials, like we've beaten Man City. Let's just be real and keep it a buck here, yeah? Thomas Frank did six points out of six against them last season. I think De Zerbi took six out of six, didn't he? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe De Zerbi didn't take six out of six, but De Zerbi beat him at the end of the season. Obviously, we beat him this season. Cool. Thomas Frank took six points off of them last season. But, Lee, the season was done. Irrelevant. They still have to keep their form up to go into a Champions League final. So, listen, let's not pretend 
Yeah, let's not pretend that beating Man City is the be all and end all. But let's also not pretend, yeah, that a draw you should be proud of. Because you shouldn't be proud of drawing a game. Thierry Henry told us this when we won the league. The last time we won the league, celebrating a draw. Tariko jumping around like an idiot in front of him. Oh, he didn't, he done his hamstring doing that. Never celebrate a draw. Never. Don't be proud of a draw. But you can, however, go, I'm happy with that. But we better win it. And that's basically what I'm saying. I was happy we didn't get slapped. But at the same time, I was also happy that I predicted a stinky draw. And it was a stinky draw. So why am I going to sit there when we actually had the better opportunities and get the ump? Makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. Better go and slap Luton, though. Yeah, don't think you can do that. Yeah, and everyone be proud. Yeah, and then we don't go and put a performance in against Luton. Go and slap Luton on Wednesday. This lot better slap Luton. I want to see at least three goals against Luton. Yeah, because you can't play like that every single week. Yeah, and not score goals. Yeah, fair enough. We don't play City every week. I've seen George Graham football. One nil to the Arsenal and all of this and stinky football. Ultimately, armpits. This better lead to armpits. However, that will not be the draw that costs Arsenal the title. And I do still think as well, I'm going to end on this. I do still think as well that all three teams, all three teams will drop points in at least one more game. At least. And let's be real, we have got a harder run in than the rest of them. However, Liverpool are not great. They're very, very good. Don't get it twisted. I'm not mocking Liverpool. Man City, for me, in my head, are still favourites because they've been there, done it, won it, seen it all for the last five, six years since he's been there. But Liverpool are probably favourites based on their running and the Europa League. We're both in the Champions League. Man City are not playing great at the moment. Liverpool are missing sitter after sitter. And I've seen a lot of people, I want to say this real quick as well, I've seen a lot of people getting on to Erling Haaland. Why are they getting on to Erling Haaland? We know he's shit, but we know he's an elite goal scorer. But you have to get him chances. And what we did so well yesterday was stop the chances. Gabriel Jesus was the worst player on the pitch, and I cussed him for it. Why? Because when you get chances, you're supposed to be the creative spark and the chance, oh, I've got to take the chances guy. Yeah, fair enough, he was at left wing back yesterday. But when you're getting in the penalty box, you're supposed to be creating and scoring. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? I've seen people saying about the guy saying, oh, he's playing through injury. Well, blame your manager then. Blame the manager. Because if he's playing a player through injury and you truly believe that, just because he does that little limp when he walks off, there's nothing wrong with him, mate. There's nothing wrong with him. He's been crap for three weeks. Drop him. But he can't drop him because Reese Nelson is the backup. Come on. This comes back to a recruitment issue in the summer. So let's stop playing mental gymnastics here. Yeah. Oh, he's playing with an injury because he does the little step like he's got a pebble in his shoe. Get out of here. He does that every other week when he drops a stinker. Yeah. When he does drop a stinker, he does that and he limps off. Next week, bang, he's back in the team. There's nothing wrong with him. He just dropped a stinker. You can say after a draw or a win, players have dropped stinkers. Jesus was awful. Odegaard, awful on the ball. Off the ball, all right. Yeah. Saka, awful. 29, I thought he was decent. Didn't do a great deal on the ball, but he's running off the ball. He would have been clean through on goal two or three times yesterday if Odegaard had released the ball. So, listen, it is what it is. It's now gone midnight, 21 minutes past midnight. I'm going to go and chill. Um, happy draw day, whatever you want to call it. I still have Man City favourites. There's three points in it. But listen, we played before Liverpool. We can go back top on Wednesday. They played Thursday against Sheffield United. Our goal difference is better than both of them. Go and rack the goals up against Luton. They're naive. Go and spank that hippie and put him in the bin. En la basura. Betty a la mierda, yo de puta. Yeah, put him in the bin. Real quick. Yeah, down at Brighton at the weekend. Because I'll tell you something, yeah. Man City have got Villa on Wednesday. That ain't going to be an easy game, even at the Etihad. Yeah, then they've got Palace away. And let's not forget, Palace scored twice at the Etihad. So let's not pretend that we did anything special. We did what we had to do to not get slapped. But Palace scored twice against them at the Etihad this season from 2-0 down to nick a draw. 
So listen, I'm happy the fact that we're still there, but I'm not happy the fact that we could have done better. We should have started Martinelli instead of Jesus. You need that pace on the break. It could have been a different game. But however, I am happy of where we are in the league and our position in the league. Yeah, cool, we're second. But Liverpool have Man United at the weekend. They also have a Scouse derby. So, listen, there's going to be topsy-turvy, ups and downs. In a couple of games' time, we could be top. Man City could be top. Liverpool could be clear. We could have both lost, and now it's done. We're in it. That's all I've wanted. Now I'm going to fucking win it. I'm on that bombshell, we're out of here. I want to be in the title race every year, but he has to cross the line. So, if people want to get on to me, get on to me. People get on to me, Pauls. Whether I'm happy, sad, fuming, sarcastic, upset, angry, rant, whatever, whatever. I just say what I think. And if people don't like it, I genuinely couldn't care less. Because guess what? I'm going to turn all these lights off now. I'm going to eat the rest of my shepherd's pie. Pause. <laughs> and I'm going to chill. And I'll be back again tomorrow, guys. Best never rest. We're there every day. Come on, sub to Lee reacts as well. Love. And make sure uh, you share the content around. Um, also, um, make sure you check out um, make sure you check out the fan cams, player ratings, and all that good stuff. Uh, leave your comments and donations down below. We're out of here. Later.